Welcome to Twisted Brush Pro Studio. I'm using version 17.21. This is part two of the videos to cover the record time-lapse painting feature. In part one, we uh, covered uh, selecting the uh, feature from the menu here. We covered uh, setting the page size from the page set page size. Uh, to a size which is appropriate for video recording. Uh, we covered the uh, setting the frames captured per minute uh, here so that the, uh, um, the amount of painting that you're doing, in this case like one hour, would equal 10 minutes of video. Uh, we also covered the uh, selecting a file name. I'm going to do it again here because I'm setting up a new recording and also covered the video compression and g getting uh, the FFD show uh, video codec pack from a website installing that and selecting the um, MPEG-4 encoder which is what's recommended and where we left off was setting or selecting OK and now we are recording. You can see uh, it's active and recording frames. Uh, it's paused when we're not actually updating the canvas, but once we start updating the canvas, we will see we'll start to record uh, again. So we'll see we recording. Uh, I'm just going to uh, do basic, you know, pretty much some random uh, paint strokes just to demonstrate um, the last few items of this feature. Uh, notice I am zoomed out right now. Um, and one thing, uh, a couple of nice, really nice things about this feature compared to a screen recorder is it's not as this isn't a screen recorder. It's not recording what you're seeing on res on the screen. It's recording what is uh, in your canvas. So even though we're we're zoomed out, it's going to actually record the the full details of your your page as if you were zoomed in. And by the same token, we can zoom into a small area and and work in this area but the entire canvas area will be recorded properly and it will be transparent to the to the viewer they will have no idea that you were zoomed in or zoomed out they won't see the dialogues they won't see things that pop up they'll just see the recording of the painting as as it's being painted so those are some uh, really nice uh, advantages of using this feature compared to a, a screen recorder. However, if you're doing tutorials, like I'm doing a tutorial here with this, how to use this feature, in that case it's nice to be able to show uh, the dialogues and menus, in which case uh, a screen recording program is appropriate. That is not what uh, Twisted Brush is doing here. It is um, strictly a time-lapse um, and painting feature. So we can see we recorded uh, what ended up being about 18 seconds of video based on my recording uh, settings. Um, I'm going to stop that now just for demonstration purposes and go to the files where it's stored. Um, here we have uh, Time lapse 2. It's saved as an AVI file. This file uh, is appropriate uh, if you select an encoder such as MPEG-4, which is widely supported at uh, pretty much any site that supports video uploads. It's going to be supported, uh, including uh, YouTube, for example. Uh, you should be able to view it also right um, in Windows as well. You could see that uh, while it doesn't fit quite in the screen, screen where I'm recording, you can see that it played back um, the recording as well in what we were doing. Now I had a lot of gaps because I was explaining things, but you can see the, uh, the end result. Uh, just recorded the uh, video page, the canvas page, without showing all the other content. Uh, your file's ready to be uploaded now to uh, any video sharing site.